Hi, welcome to Art High Virtual Edition. My name is Lori. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a DIY floating frame for any artwork you may have done. I made this textured wall art in a previous session of Art High. When I put it on the wall, it didn't look great on its own because my walls are quite neutral and the white was not enough contrast. I knew a dark DIY frame was the answer. So I set to work to make one and now this piece of work looks so much better on the wall. I made this without any power tools. So I'll demonstrate how you can do so with only hand tools that you likely have at home. We'll start by measuring your canvas and my canvas is 18 inches square. Now that we know our canvas is 18 inches wide on each side, we know we want an eighth of an inch space on all edges. So for each piece of wood that we cut, we will add a quarter of an inch to the 18 inches, that's one eighth of an inch times two. So each piece we cut will be 18 and a quarter inches on the short edge of the mitered angle cut. If you do 18 and a quarter inches along the longest edge, it will be too short. I tried that. So I was preparing to make a one by two inch frame for one piece of work and a one by three inch frame for the other piece of work, but I cut my one by two boards too short using the long edge as my measurement. So now I'll just be making one frame with the one by three inch wood for one piece of artwork. Using a miter box or a miter saw, cut 45 degree angles on both ends of your wood. Remember the short edge will be 18 and a quarter inches in my case. Put your framing pieces together. I used two angle irons to do mine. You can use anything that's square in the middle to hold it up against and then using your wood glue glue each corner you might have to do one corner at a time and let it set before you can do the other corners Once you have all of the corners put together and the glue has dried, it's time to sand your frame. You want to sand the corners nice and smooth and all surfaces of the frame as this is rough wood and in order for the stain to adhere nicely, it really does need a finer sanding to be able to do so. To reinforce each corner, we'll put a small bracket in each corner. The, these brackets are even a little larger than needed. The smallest bracket available will work. Back to my canvas, I did insert a wire hanger on the back of my canvas. Now to put the artwork into the frame, face down on the table what I did was put two two inch screws 
on each edge of my wooden frame and because the wire is on the artwork it holds the artwork into the frame by resting against the screws. Paint or stain the frame to your desired color and this is the final product. Oh.